start with the topic i am dr bala subramanyam i am uh, uh, the healthcare professional doctor from mumbai uh, i have over 34 years of ex clinical administrative experience having worked with different tertiary care hospitals i am going to speak on total quality management in the healthcare industry implementation challenges and barriers so tqm is one of the challenging topics in today's world if you see healthcare is one of the most uh, developing sectors consuming more than 12% of the gdp of most developed countries most of the jobs came uh, continue to come from healthcare and it's developing faster than other industries healthcare industry in india comprises just to give a brief hospitals medical devices clinical trials outsourcing telemedicine insurance companies and equipments health sector is growing at a tremendous pace uh, and there is lot of increase uh, expenditure by private as well as public next next new reading healthcare organizations are uh, going to uh, are Uh, implementing total quality improvements for example we are uh, hospitals all over the world since this is a global stage now thanks to covid and internet and acceleration of uh, application of information technology in healthcare we now we hearing about internet of things and machine learning so tqm is one such concept which if applied can uh, improve the quality of services at affordable price with zero errors we can maintain a continuous error prevention program training of the employees reducing delay time quality management has become an important part in the healthcare organization uh, for last number of decades due to governmental regulations influence of customers healthcare is becoming more of customer centric patient centric you are here often hear that patient is the king customer is the king in other segments here patient is the king now uh, the patient is becoming more aware uh, thanks to internet and google doctor so naturally all these have led to uh, hospitals uh, needing to improve their healthcare tqm tqm what is tqm there are tqm is uh, total quality management we heard of cqi before continuous quality improvement is a management philosophy and method the various definitions but on the whole uh, it is a complete organizational and attitude change and it right starts from the ceo to the uh, worker in order to reduce cost reduce errors and meet the requirement of patients what they want what they expect and ultimately you uh, uh, give better quality of care four fundamentals functions of management empowering clinicians and managers managers adopting a norm that customer prefers adopting a multidisciplinary approach rational database cooperative approach this tqm helps us to quantify healthcare data we'll come to it later and multidisciplinary various teams involved in tqm that's very important factors for tqm care see tqm is that is accountability and responsibility for not only the clinicians but the hospital administrators right from the ceo to the nurse to the rmo to all the clinicians so uh, tqm systems established to prevent clinical and administrative problems to improve patient satisfaction provide better healthcare services raise fundamental matrices see you error prevention for example we know bed fall in a hospital segment bed fall Uh, bed sores we have better quality indicators in hospital we have various indices for icu ventilator associated pneumonia so all these indices have are been benchmarked against international standards and compared and the hospitals are going in for nabh and jci so tqm is part of that once you have tqm your quality of care will improve and that will improve your business tqm can be measured even uh, it can be applied across industries not necessarily healthcare manufacturing and other things healthcare is a 
what we call healthcare hospital agreement between a patient, physician, nurse uh, regarding medical intervention that is in harmony with actual standards and protocols applied with the organization. That is a contract. Healthcare is a contract. See, we are uh, looking at fundamentals of care, area of care, clinical specialty, individual groups. Deming. Deming is considered the father of quality. So let's briefly delve into what he has said. He has said that TQM analyzes errors and variations rather than blaming people. This is what we call a medical audit. We do a tissue audit in a hospital. We do a mortality audit. So we make it clear as a medical superintendent, I have been handling this in various hospitals. We tell the consultant that we want to improve our care and fix the errors. Develop long-term partnership with external and internal suppliers. Use data to analyze. Now we have got data. Data is the king and like patient is the king. Involve the staff to improve uh, care. Collaborative meetings, what you call as quality circles. Training, continuous training of all the employees. A engage the staff and achieve long-term improvement through small steps. Service quality. Healthcare is an issue in the sense that health service is intangible, performance heterogeneous, customer producer inseparability. Due to this, healthcare is more difficult for the customer to evaluate. Evaluations are not made on the output, but also the delivery process. For example, patient may have had a CABG, excellent care by the doctors, excellent recovery, but he had a bad diet. If the diet was served was not good, he will go unhappy. Cervical. Cervical is a unique model which is developed by Parshuram. In this, the, uh, there is a good approach for measuring patient customer satisfaction through the difference between customer's expectation and perception. So this is uh, done at organizational level, individual level, and uh, the unit level. Cervical model. Cervical model can be applied across industries. Broadly, we uh, there are about nine in this reliability, responsiveness, but for healthcare, we come to five. Tangibility, physical facilities. Patient, when he gets admitted to hospital, is going to see what are the equipment, whether you got a latest MRI, latest CT scan, or how are the personnel, whether they're trained, reliability, whether the doctor is available on time, is coming on time, is responding to your calls, responsiveness, how the customer care, what is the language, what is there, how do they speak, assurance. The body language of the staff also gives a lot of confidence to the patient. Empathy, empathy is more important. Application of cervical, uh, allows possibilities of more specific management action to redress patient perceived outcomes. Cervical barriers. See, at the same time in healthcare, it's not a piece of cake. There are, uh, there are challenges in implementation of healthcare because uh, uh, since long, physicians have been uh, used to working as a king. They have their own uh, nursing homes. They, uh, wherever hospital they go, they command. They, so there are different structures in the hospital, one on the administration and one on the physicians. Traditionally, this is uh, changing gradually. Apprehensions, phys physician resistance, how do you tackle it? You find loyalists, uh, Lopriti and Whetstone recommended that involve loyal physicians. How do you involve loyal physicians? You have a group of physicians who do more work. You involve them in various committees, patient care coordination, infection control, make them the chairman, code blue committee, death audit, uh, the formats, formats, uh, drugs and therapeutics, all these involve them and get them to uh, say that they are involved more, they are the uh, leaders. So then they take interest and the working will be smooth. Lack of resources. The problem in a country like India and other developed countries is equipment, manpower, etc. Drugs and uh, improper maintenance. Uh, for example, if you have costly equipment, you need to have proper AMC and CMC. Uh, downtime of in critical patients, very important lack of trained employees to retain employees is a challenge so now we have two views the traditional views professional view the, the recent view is the tqm view tqm view is flexible accountable managerial collective on the other hand everything was individual leadership was individual isolated to few people and they had the authority now it's more democratic problem statement at least with respect to India, where I've been working in Mumbai and India, tertiary care hospitals, I've worked in various hospitals across the city, face various problems. The medicinal prices is increasing, infirmaries and shabby states, mortality rates are rising, and 
हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज आर इन सॉरी स्टेट सो आई हैव अ क्राइसिल स्टैटिस्टिक्स दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन 2001 ओनली बट इवन ना एप्लीकेबल नाउ सी sadly if you see the healthcare infrastructure in india i can talk about india not other countries uh, bed uh, is 1.5 per 1000 population whereas the world average is 3.3 the physician is 1.2 world average is 1.5 the nursing nursing is 0.9 world average we have a lot turnover of nurses we don't have trained physicians so this is a challenge the best way would be to increase the gdp in healthcare infrastructure cervical cervical is our talk what is the plan program for evaluation of our practitioners like a medical audit identify opportunities for improvement and provide a mechanism for sustainable improvements that is this cycle what you call as pdca cycle sometimes you call it as pdca this is a cervical cycle cervical implementation how do you implement the implementation from the start from the top the ceo top management the top management right to the lower level the training of the employees setting principles having the right infrastructure uh, having commitment important principles this is a very important slide educational training we infection control officer con conducts training for the nurses and the resident doctors on needle stick injuries and other in we have infection control meetings where we check for quality indicators needle stick and other things history of fall and other errors constructing the team work Uh, team work is more important as well as implementation of tqm is concerned adjusting the style of leadership to make it more democratic you should know the key implement steps are internal customers external customers standardization carrying on with continuous improvement carry on doctor you say this going to be ongoing if you have nabh we had just had nabh fifth edition but that uh, uh, renewal is going to come back after one or two years again perform customer satisfaction surveys we have a patient feedback form for every patient in admission or uh, admitted or opd so we evaluate various aspects whether and what aspect patient uh, the hospital is lacking we communicate to the respective department we get back to the patient the medical director writes to the patient calls the patient for a cup of tea and we see how the gap can be bridged spreading the right quality concept so this is a tqm implementation model what i talked about change of organizational culture that is the most important uh, leadership changing understanding patients needs customer requirements empowerment and training so conclusion i come the cervical and its application uh, uh, helps in achieving satisfaction internally as well as externally the suggested framework uh, of cervical can be a brave, uh, great help for healthcare organizations to move out of the barriers and successfully implement tqm concepts so this provides an unbiased perspective and cons uh, comprehensive uh, view of the hospital reality so that hr other resources patient can be can work together for better patient care see i end with a small quote from a great man william frost they said quality is never an accident it's always a result of high intention sincere effort intelligent direction we have lost you skillful execution it represents the wise choice of many alternatives the cumulative experience of many masters of craftsmanship quality also marks the search of an ideal after necessity has been satisfied and mere usefulness has achieved that's i mean to say that you extend yourself all the staff you go beyond the required levels you achieve excellence and thank you uh, i wish to thank uh, the organizers madam augusta and madam felicius for the Uh, for having me here and giving me an opportunity to speak uh, my the ppt can be shared my email is, uh, address and contact details available with the organizers anybody wants to contact me regarding this tqm can contact me thank you